the best time of the week, local. Am I the only one that Conor McGregor walks all the way to local? So today, I'm going to actually be using a brand new deck. I'm going to be showcasing you guys the most underrated deck of the format. Let's go. I'm excited. Home sweet home, baby. Let's go. Round one of attorney boys, let's go. I told you guys I'll be playing a different deck today. And I'm facing off against my dog. This is the living legend of Game Nation and all of Toronto locals. The reason you guys have never heard of him before is because he's busy training. He already has seven world tops. This is Xavier. Yo, what's up, everybody? Bro, I think I might just auto scoop to you. Please go easy on me. It's okay. I'll, you go easy on me today. Okay. Okay, I will. Today's locals, we are not playing Pendulum. We are switching to Outlitch today. So I'm going to showcase you guys the power of Outlitch. And the thing about El Lich is very simple. It's a fact that it's not as good as Pendulum. Are you dumb? I will never switch out to another deck. First of deck. Screw up another deck. That's forever. Oh my god. That Nibiru was was not very invisible there. That's uh that was a very, very visible Nibiru. Ah, uh, maybe we should have played El Lich today, boys. <laughs> no! Screw you, Nibiru! It's all good, it's all good. Because I'll tell you what will be invisible, okay? And that is my opponent winning game two. Because we are winning game two and three no matter what. Let's go. There's no way we can lose, we can get Nibiru twice. There's just no way. And that, you're, that's right, because he hits us with a droll on our pen calls. That's extremely sad. Oh my god, droll on pen call. But that's fine, because pen magician is a whole nother, uh, whole nother level. And a Nibiru! But I don't care, bro! Bring all this sick music! Nibiru and droll! And we're still gonna put up Marone de Flores Scythe! We're Tornado Dragon! Let's go! We ain't never losing, baby! Oh, bring on Game 3! We are excited for Game 3. I need you guys to smash the subscribe button right now. I need you guys to smash the like button as well. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. And comment down below why Pendulum is the best deck. I want you to spam the pen best deck in the comments. Let's do this. And of course, get the people going for our play match. Look at them. Look at them. I'm hiding the feet right now because I want you guys, in order to see the feet, you guys to see in real life. My opponent here goes into the DPE to pop the beer brum and to get his revolt. So it's all good in the hood. Oh my god, all right, we gotta change this to a sad song now because of fucking anti-spell. I absolutely despise this card. Sad song the rest of the way, boys. Oh my god. Rip anti-spell. I can't believe you anti-spelled me. I don't know, man. Anti-spell's a good card. Bro, this is why you're the legend of Toronto, bro. This is why exactly. people don't understand. When you go to Worlds, you already did. Don't you have like five Worlds wins? I have uh, five Worlds wins. One top four. Yeah. And then I scrub boys. Yeah, bro, you're just too good for this game, bro. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, I only side the anti spells when it comes to locals because I know Tristan games. Yeah, yeah, and bro, like basically you teach Jesse everything, right? Like you gave him his decks. I, I taught Jesse, I taught yeah. who else won Worlds here. Who else? Ryan you. Ryan you. Yeah. Ryan you. I gave him some secret text for his uh, chain burn deck. <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm not even so sad I lost to you because you're the best in the world. Thanks, man. Thanks. I'm that's... Se second to only trip. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go. Anti spell, bro. Yo, Xavier. Yeah. Can I see your anti spells for a bit? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I just want to see them real quick for uh, no, no reason. You want to read them? Yeah, I just want to read them with you. Uh, by the way, yo, Xavier, have you ever seen uh, the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, of course. Do, do you like Weevil? Yeah, I love him. Then go get your cards! Get out of my face, bro! Get out of my face! I'll never deal with that card again! Well, now I know uh, that'll never happen again for the rest of my life. So, yeah, let's uh, let's just win round two. Let's go, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Blunders. Good door, you're gonna clap him or what? I hope so. I, I know so. I hope so. None of my homies look like Blunder. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh! Oh! Very disappointing to lose round one, but man, anti spell, what could you do? What could you do, man? It was very unfortunate. That's my boy, Xavier. It's all good. We'll pick our head up. You can't win every tournament. We're like, we won three of our last four tournaments with, with pendulums. And you already know I wasn't gonna play. I know Ellen's garbage. Well, okay, it's not garbage. Ellen's is insane. It's not as good as Pendulum. We'll try different decks next time. But as for today, we're going to rock out with Pendulum. Still got a few rounds to go. So we're going to make sure to put on a show. We're not losing the rest of the way. And we'll see who wins. I actually do hope my boy Xavier wins. He's playing pure tribe again with, with DPE. Not no bird call stuff uh, with Lyra Lusk. So we're cheering on our boy Xavier, hoping he wins. And we will, be doing our, we will get a deck football from him at the end. As long as he wins, of course. And I believe he'll win. Because he just won the finals in round one. 
anyways this is beautiful toronto right out here i love i'm telling you if you guys live around here if you live in like a lot of random places like i don't know thunder bay or wherever the heck in canada just come to toronto the place is insane yo bro i have a question for you yeah how the fuck we both x1 what the heck i don't know we're just scrubs, bro yeah yeah i don't know uh, hey speak for yourself bro speak for yourself because you about to be x2 what'd you say what i didn't hear repeat what you I said it is never gonna hit. Mark just said if I go X3 to put in my video. What is this X3? I'm not you, Mark. I don't go X3. I'm XO right now. What's I'm winning team? my next. I'm winning my next two. Round two in the books. Let's go. I'm excited for this one. And just so you guys know, of course, hey, Xavier's my boy. I threw out his anti-spells. I went to go get him. This is only the friend thing to do. But screw those anti-spells. I will rip them up if I ever see them. Draw at me again. Anyways, yeah, we're Kaiba, bro. We're Kaiba. We, we're going to rip up the fourth blue eyes. Just so anti-spells never used against us. I think that, guys, as Pendulum players, if we all gang up together and purchase every anti-spell ever made in the existence in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, we could rip them all up. It'll probably cost us like $5 each, and then we could just rip up every anti-spell ever made. So maybe we should all do this together. Anyways, this match, as you see here, I set up the Tornado Dragon popping the Scythe, and this is just GG. Despite having a pretty weird hand there, uh, I still find a way to play through it. Some hands are extremely weird, man. You don't have access to... to, to good cards harmo sometimes like that it's very difficult but if you push through and play smart you will always find a way to put up the unbreakable board to ensure victory no matter the scenario so here uh, my opponent's playing tribrigade as you see uh, i believe he's playing tribrigade dpe so this is the second tribrigade dpe we'll be facing in a row but it's all good it's all good wanna know why because i got my dual knights ring on me and while i got uh, while i got that it's over my opponent does not set up the revolt here with the dp he does set up a rugo for a follow-up and, but this is just not enough interruptions to stop me here. This is just not enough. Uh, popping my normal summon, I go Artemis here to get the Harmo back to my hand to trigger Harmo's effect. And there's not much more you can do here. I'm going to go into Fiber, and I'm going to easy, easily be able to go for an OTK here. I'm going to set everything up with the access code. I'm going to go Time Star, pop everything Time Star, and I'm going to attack for game. Pen best deck. Now we just have one more round. 1-1 one, one now. Sadly, we're not too old. That's obviously what we wanted to hit. But... It's all good. It's all good. You can't win every. You can't win them all. Okay, the Nessie. Oh, Dr. Dragon. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Nice. I see this card doesn't only haunt myself. <laughs> Alright, last round. We are facing Flunder. I don't know what any card does, but we're going to clap anyways. Let's go. In the last match of the day, we got Flunder. My opponent here opens up the Prosperity. This will be able to get him set up for his turn. Flunder does break, but when they don't break, it is pretty difficult to deal with, especially when you play a combo deck like we do. So, I don't know this deck extremely well, so you guys could uh, be the judge yourselves. You can see my hand. You'll, uh, you'll see the cards I have in my hand eventually, and you'll see if I played this wrong. We are under Dimension Shifter, which is going to hurt us quite tremendously. Without the Shifter, this is very easy, very easy to, to take care of. Very easy. I quickly go into the Baron de Floor in defense to be able to negate anything we're scared of. Uh, we are... So I pop that instantly. That way, my Link Monsters can go off if I wanted them to. So at this point, I'm like, okay, man, because Oak Dragon can't add back to Harmo that's in the extra deck, I can't normal summon it back and go into Needle Fiber. We could have potentially gone for game there. But because of the shifter, we don't have access to the fiber from Oak. We couldn't normal summon. We had a two and we go fiber here. And I'm like, man, I need to try and go for a game by the get rid of my Baron de Floor. And I set up Appaloosa and Zeus. It wasn't enough because uh, well, obviously he had the lightning storm from the Appaloosa. Appaloosa does a lot against this deck. So sadly, our Appaloosa could not survive. My goal here, I obviously needed him to stop playing. I thought this would stop him uh, to an extent, but it just wasn't enough. So oh, a little bit. He has Avion here. I'm going to enter where I made a mistake. You know, my Celestial added Joker at the end. I probably should have searched double Wisdom Eye because that Joker gave him the free normal summon. And that normal summon looks like it's going to end up haunting me. I have double Wisdom Eye in hand, but thanks to the Shifter, both of my, all my Oak Dragons are gone. Oak Dragon could have given me back a monster and summon there. We could have won. Man, it's very, very sad that all our Oaths are out of the deck. Uh, we we're very close there, but it's okay because clearly you could tell that Flunder, uh, it's not as crazy as people deem it out to be. 
if you are smart about your, your, your ways to stop them, it's very, it's very easy to, to do so. So here I go Chrono, a Tuning Magician, and set up a Fiber. I want to put up an Appaloosa to stop from potential Nibiru as well. Appaloosa absolutely destroys this deck, even in the scenario where you can out my cards. So against this deck, we don't have as good of a board as normal because we can't scythe them. We have a solid board here. Uh, <coughs> Pengraf, Barone, Dragster, Appaloosa, Tornado. He has Pot and Double Book of Moon, so he opened very, very, very good. His Pot gets the Dark Ruler, but he still has to deal with the Pengraf. So... He had Dark Lord to stop Apple and Tornado Dragon, but we'll see if he could deal with our pen graph. And on top of that, he has to actually clear our entire board. Obviously, we're not scared of this card, because we're just going to pop the main card, whatever card he brings out last. And that's just GG. There's nothing you can do there. So we're going to go to Game 3 over here. And this Game 3 is very interesting. You guys are going to notice a very easy, simple way uh, to stop this deck. And a lot of people side deck so incorrectly, and it infuriates me, man. You're playing Pendulums. You're playing uh, the best deck of the format that uh, gives you the, uh, the ability and capability to have absolute blowout side cards which is why against combo decks why would you not play Seer Mode and Lava Golem when they literally clear everything no matter what like it doesn't matter what board they make you break it with one card it's a 10 times better droplets but everyone's deciding to play droplets over them well we don't need our normal summon and because we don't need our normal summon we Danko their ass if you put up the field spell we have Dragon Pit pop the field spell and then Danko him there's nothing he can do there's literally nothing he can do this Danko absolutely destroys this deck sadly the rest of our cards are absolute dog shit so we can't really set up much after that. We go into a Barone de Floor to pop that. And we go Souls and Special Tuning Magician for my hand. This sets up a Needle Fiber. And I could have, I really wanted to set up an Appaloosa uh, over here. And that could have been the best play. But I want to pop the card that gives him a free Tribute Summit. And the other card as well. So after that, I think this is pretty easy pickings for us. He Chain Blocks there. But there's nothing you can do. We win. Let's go. All right, guys. We ended up winning uh, the last round. Uh, Xavier won. Cause I, fucking, cause I, I told you guys. Yo, Xavier. Yo, Xavier, you won, right? Yes, sir. What did I say, bro? I told you guys, world champion. Five-time world champion. Of course. Thank you, Trip, for letting me win this tournament. Let's go. No, you did it yourself. You clapped up Knock. Knock, he's your child, bro. You clapped him up. Let's go. Yo, what's up, everyone? So, at the end of this vlog, I want to showcase my boy Knox deck profile where he is playing Sword Soul. This is the sexiest deck I've ever seen in my life. Aside from like common pendulums, it's all from crypto, I promise. It's all from crypto. It's all from crypto. <laughs> yeah, that's all you did. Ship to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 bro. It's all about that squid game token, you know. Squid game yeah. token. Sick. Let's go. <laughs> so with that being said, yo, let's uh, see your deck. Yeah, three Ecclesia, uh, three standard, three Moi, uh, two Taya. It's the worst one to open. Definitely the best one to top deck. Uh, three Long A, the Crash of the deck extender. The one Protoss. This card's insane. Rich Bird up. It's insane. Rich PK. Like, it literally wins games. Uh, in the mirror match, if you don't have the water token, you just call light, turn off the Chi Shao. You can't play Chao Fang, uh, Chi Shao, or Baxia, right? So Are you bad. always trying to go for this? Always turn one? Um, like, not, you like, no, you, you don't want to blind it, yeah. but like, you're always, oh, okay. the end board is usually just uh, Chi Shao, Baroness with like a uh, blackout, if anything. Because nice. you don't want to play into Nib also. Yeah. So, Double Fushuda, uh, I realized that I was breaking really hard with this deck. Yeah. Because I'm playing the DP engine, so it's a lot less names, a lot less worms. Right. So the Vishu does help me break the board, and two is perfect. Nice. Uh, I play two Nib, two Ash. Nice oh, rich guy, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, two Nib, two Ash, uh, two Valor. And I play one Dasher and one Special. Yes. Um, two Pot, uh, three. I would play 41 and three for sure, but I just wanted to play 40 to keep it as consistent as possible. But if you wanted to play a 41 card deck, I... Or is it just because you didn't have a third star like I did have a third, I have a Spanish one. Oh my god. Yeah, he's, uh, I played three Fusion Destinies, three Emergence, uh, the one Summit, this card's insane. I just search it off, if I have full combo with the three, uh, three names, and I just go for the, uh, the Adamantium player to play. Right. Yeah. Uh, three Droplet. I think it's mandatory in every deck right now because everyone's trying to make a board. Yeah. Uh, two Imperm. So I play eight hand traps total. Uh, the two Judgments because it's the only out to like Dark Ruler and Droplet. Yeah. And everyone's like either maining it or siding it. And yeah. that's the only thing that breaks the board. Yeah. Which is like you get Dark Ruler and you just break your board, right? And then two back up. Nice. You know, your deck's absolutely insane. Yeah, it's solid, man. It's solid. I only lost to the best player in the room. Yeah, that is that is true. He is absolutely five-time, five-time world champion. Five-time world champion, right? Yo, guys, to end off our vlog, we got the greatest player in the planet who obviously won the <laughs> tournament. Xavier, bro, tell him about yourself and your amazing deck. All right. Uh, I, I'm i usually a rogue player, but I decided to play Tri-Brigade because the deck is, deck is too good. Deck is it's crazy. not boring. You're Look. playing Drytron. What are you talking about boring? Bro, there's something linear. Okay, okay. 
I'm not even gonna entertain this idea. I'm an ABC player and Trevor is modern day ABC, so you know I had to make the switch. And yo, and the Leafs are insane too, right? Leafs are insane too. Yes. Isn't this awfully firm? Yeah. Why are you so <laughs> sus? So I played, uh, it's a uh, pure tri brigade with uh, yeah, DP. Yeah. So I played three fractal, three kit. All right. Three nerval. One, one, sorry, one sec. He's, oh. Ray's giving me a face that I was like, yo, you pulled something nice. I know for a fact it's uh, he's just boosting. You pulled a negate, totem bird. <laughs> I don't need totem bird. You've played in the pendulum before. I have, yeah. <laughs> Yo, remember this video? The it's next time he's like, crazy, 17 card negate. <laughs> and then it gets like outed by like Dark Ruler and then <laughs> just fucking Dark Ruler. Yeah, negate. I hope somebody just like Dark Ruler, Dark Ruler. <laughs> oh, no. I hope you packed up. So I played three Keras. Uh, I. I was playing two this weekend, but I bumped it to three, uh, just because I found that I needed the extra. You are the best player in the, the world. One extra so one. Whatever you say goes for this deck. Uh, did you not beat Steven today? I did. I, you dummy I did. dumb with I dummy him. Shitty spelled. pendulums, right? And he threw my spells out the window. <laughs> and I'll throw all the rest of your deck. And I'll throw all, all the anti spells in the store too. This guy, who did he remind me of? It's like, you know what it is? It's like Kaibo thinking blue eyes is good. <laughs> you know? Except I'm pretty sure he can't get over blue eyes without <laughs> using non-pendulum cards. Bro, you do understand that I've won like like the last five locals I played undefeated because I'm insane, right? It's all because of pendulums. He won the last five locals I won undefeated. Yeah. Well, okay, five's a little bit of a boost. Three of my last four. Because <laughs> you lost the greatest player today, baby. Let's go. Two of them were at home tournaments. <laughs> they were out. You were here the entire time. You were did busy you know, making you know, weird noises to Sosa. You couldn't you know, watch. So not, I played a bunch of entry offs. I played two, two Ash, two yes. Nib, two Valor, uh, and then three. Oh Imperms. yes, yeah, I know these ones well. <laughs> and, then, and then three Imperms. Yes. Uh, I wasn't playing. I just added these for or these for today. Yeah. They were really good. Yeah. Um, and I played Celestial Dasher. And yo, you like the DP engine? DP engine was amazing. Nice. What does it stand for? Uh, Don't answer that. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer. That. Then I play a uh, three fusion destiny. Yeah. Uh, three chalice, chalice, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, three ta or two talents. I was playing a third, but I cut it for the third Karaz. Yeah. Um, one tanky, one burial, one call by. Two revolt, and then orders last card. Okay. Yeah. And your deck's insane, insane. Uh, deck's insane, insane. You're gonna win the next seven worlds, right? Bro, next eight. Not nothing but facts. <laughs> Ended up third place. Pretty ass. Obviously, I want to finish first. But if you lose round one, what else are you going to do? But this is not bad. better than nothing. We at least we won in the rest. And that concludes our locals today. It wasn't first place like I asked, but you can't always finish first. We finished third place today. We got pretty cool pricing and not, not that bad. Definitely going to be using the store credit eventually for when the new pendulum cards come out. Extra pendulum, baby card, sink. I can't wait to add that to the deck. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. And check out all the links below if you want to help support the channel. More vlogs like this every single day. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!